Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. And this is a video for Antonio in Troy, Michigan. Antonio obviously is a long distance customer. So he can't just hop in his vehicle and drive over here to come look at the truck himself in person. So as a substitute for that, we like to uh, do a very careful communication process, which is, um, you know, conversation on the telephone, perhaps answering questions about the vehicle, and then he might look at um, the original listing or the video of when the truck first came in. And then if he still likes the truck, and then what we do is we take a deposit, uh, usually it's $300, and we do this video here. And that deposit is just to show us that, hey, he's serious enough to put down $300, which is refundable if he doesn't like the truck. And, and then he sees this video and by the, and including a test drive. And by that time, when he sees the second, this video here, the second video, he has a very good idea of the actual condition of the truck in as much as that's within his ability to do without him being here himself in person. So Antonio, uh, check out this video and let us know what you think. This is a 1994 Daihatsu Hijet 4x4 5-speed with a high and low transfer case. And the best part of all is this guy's 16,000 and 25 original miles, which is unbelievable. That's like ridiculously low miles. But that is what we try to get here at Mayberry Mini Trucks, is that, that really low mileage stuff. We like to, um, you know, <clears throat> buy something that's already low mileage because there's a correlation between low miles and reliability. So um, let's go ahead and let's get started on this video for Antonio and Troy. Okay, so now we're coming around the perimeter of the windshield, looking for damage. Now, this is a touch-up spot, and this owner was very, very careful about touching up places where, you know, a pebble, like a, a rock, maybe hit it or something like that. Um, you can see that looking around the gasket, there is no rust around the windshield. That's something that we really <clears throat> like to look for. And not only that, there's not a single ding, not a pebble shopping cart ding on the front, not anything. So it doesn't have any damage on the front and the bumper also looks very nice. These headlights are your typical Napa or Advance Auto headlights. So when your headlights burn out, they're very easy to get. Okay, so coming down, and that's not true for all mini trucks. This just happens to be one of the easier ones. Um, coming down the um, door pillar, looking at the door, there are uh, just some very light scratches, like a pebble peck right there. Um, that's a mark, actually. That's, that's a abrasion there and there. And then what we want to do, of course, we're going to look here. This all looks really nice. Uh, the tire is good. It's not phenomenal. It's not great. It's good. That is great. That looks incredible. There is surface rust on the wheels. Um, you can see the bedside panel, guys, is absolutely stunning. And you can see the reflection of the trees as I pan left to right. I mean, it is unbelievable. The only thing you see are spot welds when they assembled the, the bed itself, or the, the panel. Also, we do have a touch-up spot right there. Now for the bed. This is kind of like the, the most beautiful thing in the truck. And I don't, it's so strange that the bed looks this nice. Um, just a tiny little peck of a spot right there. But guys, this is incredible. Look at the stainless steel bolts. Even the stainless steel bolts. And those have to be 316 stainless because they're just flawless. The whole inside of the bed 
up one side and down the other is just the only thing you see in here is um, our leaves those are leaves okay now for the tailgate the back of the truck so it does have you can see here the angularity right there and here you can see where they backed into something so if you want to take a, a pair of of of, of um, like channel locks and a rag you can bend that back out but there is that and my job is to be like a very savvy shopper and show you these things so that that way you're not disappointed when you do see the truck for the first time and you can see here the condition of the bed is just absolutely stunning even the inside of the bedside panels. And this bedside panel looks very nice. We have one ding right there. And we have a touch up spot here, here, here. And a little scratch there. So it looks pretty good. And then the back of the cab also looks good. And one thing I did not do is I did not get under here. Now, this previous owner did put some sort of coating on the frame, but I've already looked at it very carefully. It is not to hide any damage. So let me show you. <clears throat> You can see as you look up carefully, there's no rust on the frame of the truck. You see what I mean? It's, um, it's very clean. So I think it's safe to say that he did it. He um, was trying to uh, protect the truck rather than hide. They're not trying to hide damage, which sometimes is the case, in, 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 in at least here in the United States. Um, and um, so there you go. There's a little surface rust there, but that's not, not really damage. That's just a little dusting. Okay, and another good tire. <clears throat> okay, so now here's the bottom of the bed over here. Okay, um, this door looks really good. Um, let's come down. You can see here where the owner touched up on the weld. And the weld always is going to rust first because it's a very high carbon content. So you can even see they did the, 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 the nut here. He even dabbed the nut, dabbed the, the, the welding here, dabbed the welding here. That's all the previous owner. And he put another, like took a Q-tip and dabbed it there. And there <clears throat> but you can see that <clears throat> the condition of the truck is extremely good as I pan down notice there is no um, no body damage you can see where they had lettering on here um, so you can kind of see a little bit maybe I don't know if that'll show up in the photo or not but or in the video so this is the inside of the um it's the inner fender on the passenger side looking good now the door panel on the passenger side looks phenomenal and here is the underside of the door. 
looking very good. And now for underneath the mat. Now we did just wash this truck, so that's why you see water there. Let's go ahead and let's look behind the seat. Very nice. You can see how it's, it's the uh, jack handle is supposed to be stowed. And this is your strap. You lift up the seat and there's a hook and that way the seat stays up so you can check your oil and whatnot. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the inside of the door on the driver's side. And there is the interior panel on the driver's side door. Now at the bottom of the driver's side door and you can see there's no rust. Now the wheels, that's beautiful. The wheels do have surface rust. I don't know if I showed that, but you can see there, there's surface rust on the wheels. All four of them are about the same. The seat is absolutely remarkable. And if the driver's seat looks that good, then the passenger seat's gonna look that good. It even has the factory sticker over those holes. That's your brake fluid, dot five. And you can see here, that is a sticker that says, hey, at 27.7, change the oil. Well, we went ahead and changed the oil anyway, and we use full synthetic 5W30 engine oil. All right. So now we are in two wheel drive. This is four wheel drive. Now notice there's a, a light that'll turn on right there. Now I'm gonna push it again and that light turns off. That means we turned on the four wheel drive and then we turned off the four wheel drive. So now we're going to make a U-turn and in typical Daihatsu form, look at that tight turn guys. That is totally Daihatsu right there. That's nice. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to come back um, up this hill in a minute. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the hill and see how it does um, getting up to speed. Mayberry Mini Trucks got the law passed in North Carolina making them street legal. And you will get a title and the title will um, uh, allow you to uh, transfer it. Um, and, and, you know, we, we, uh, there, there's no extra charge. There's no extra charge, no dock fee, no prep fee, no admin fee, none of that. Whatever the price of the truck is, is all you pay. Now we're going 80 kilometers per hour now. And I want to get it up to speed. And that's 60 miles per hour. And it, it feels great. It feels really good. And so now, so that was kind of a big deal right there. Is that handled that higher speed very well. Now we're gonna make a U-turn again in second gear. And now we're gonna go back up the hill. We're in third gear now. Fourth gear. <clears throat> and now we're in fifth gear. I'm gonna shut the window. And now we're gonna see how the truck does climbing this hill in fifth gear. Mind you, fifth gear, but if that's not impressive enough, we're holding our speed at 70, but now I'm gonna slow down. And, and the whole point is to show you how this vehicle does going very slowly all right, so we're going 28 kilometers per hour up a steep hill, guys. And we are in fifth 
gear. 28, now we're going um, 33, 34 uh, kilometers per hour up a steep hill in fifth gear. Now what this shows us is that the truck is accelerating um, up a steep hill at a ridiculously slow speed and in fifth gear. So that right there, guys, is probably, to me, the most important thing about the test drive, showing that the truck has good compression and good horsepower. So um, there you go. Um, Antonio, if you uh, like this video, let us know if you think that this truck is a good fit for you. It is um, a very low mileage, well cared for truck with good power, good compression, and uh, four wheel drive, and um, just just looks really nice. And um, anyway, I give it high marks, um, both in the aesthetics and um, in the uh, in the speed. Uh, it goes up that hill. That was also really nice. Also, um, I will say uh, the only thing that was wrong with the truck is it had that, um, whoops, horn works. It also had uh, that dent in the back um, where somebody backed into uh, something. And also it had those spots that were touched up. Um, and um, I wouldn't say that the frame being... Um, coated with whatever that was, whether it's paint or undercoating. I don't think that's a negative. I think that the owner was trying to preserve the truck because of all the little dabs of touch-up that he did, like with a Q-tip or something. That shows me that the previous owner really was very careful with their truck and wanted it to last. And for whatever reason, it wound up at the auction. Um, you know, sometimes maybe somebody passed away or something like that. I, I wonder, I never know the story, but I, I try to imagine what it is. And that's probably the case a lot of the time. But, um, so if you think this is a good fit for you, Antonio, let us know. You can call us at area code 336-777-9957. Thank you for watching our video.